Hello, Joe Gaming Goalie here, and yeah, the end of my collection video. Ugh, it's not scary. It's not scary. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I got some little notes down there, so I'm gonna be keep looking down. But uh, yeah, um, yeah, my brother is also in the same boat. Combat Retro. Um, quite a lot of you check um, have checked out his channel and do actually watch and are actually subscribed. So yeah, thank you for s subscribing to my brother's channel. Um, and if you haven't checked it out. Yeah, if you like my channel, I think you'll definitely like my brother's channel, Combat Retro. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, we've been collecting for years. Um, <clears throat> myself, I've been collecting about 28 years, um, roughly. It might be more now, to be honest. But it's just a, a long time, let's just say for many years. Um, and yeah, I, I collected back... When there was no YouTube, there was no eBay, and yeah, I guess I collected back when it wasn't so cool. <laughs> um, we, we weren't, me and my brother weren't the only ones that were collecting, I'm sure there were others also that collected back then. Um, and if you remember, eh, you could get so much retro for li literally next to nothing, sometimes for nothing. Which I have told you um, a few times on my channel. Me coming home with bags full of PlayStation 1 that I got for nothing. Um, you know, those that, that car boot sells, those big boxes. Uh, I think they were like fruit boxes or something. And it was just a mixture of wires, controllers, consoles, games. It, it was like... A, you didn't know what was in the box. And you... We were sort of just looking through it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, have that for a fiver. <laughs> um, and then you'd find out you got, like, three consoles in there and several games and extra controllers and wires and... Oh, it was brilliant days. Um, so, yeah, we've been collect collecting for many years. Um, so, yeah, I just don't want a large collection. Um... Yeah, uh, uh, I mean, this is just more than enough, basically. I don't want to. I don't want to to get out of hand. I don't want to be tripping on piles of stuff. I don't want to be overrun by too much stuff um, at all. If you know what I mean. I just. I don't want. Yeah, no. Everything's got to have a place. Or you know, I don't want piles of stuff. Everything has to have a place. Or it can go. Um, I don't have the luxury of space, um, as you well know. I, I don't think I'm the only one that don't have a game room, but <laughs> I don't have a game room at all. Um, I have this one wall, um, and a, a lot of it's, I mean, I kind of got these cool uh, cabinet shell things where I can shut it all away. Um, this is actually my lounge, um, and I, I want to keep it quite clean, I, I don't want tons of gaming stuff on display, so yeah, that's why I got the cabinet, um, just open that again, um, that's why I don't want the cabinet, that's why I want the cabinet to, you know, to shut it all away, so it's hidden, <laughs> um, so yeah, I just got this one wall, and then a box in the corner with basically all my consoles, which I actually have to take out and set up to play in the lounge. The only two consoles that I have is a PS4 and a Mega Drive Mega CD. And then I have like a CRT in the bedroom with some storage boxes um, with some extra gamey bits in there too. Um, so yeah, I don't have a game room where I could just literally... Oh, that would be good to have a game room, you know, I could literally just fill it up top to bottom. <laughs> um, not necessarily with games, because um, like I said, I don't want a large collection. <laughs> like, oh, no. I, I remember um, wanting a very, very large collection when I was younger. I literally wanted a full set of Mega Drive. Um, came to my senses, though, because I was just like, that would be, no, that would be too much. Um, and also... 
I don't like every single game on Mega Drive. I definitely don't want any of the sports games. <laughs> like, not into football or rugby or all that. So, yeah, I wouldn't want a full set Mega Drive, to be quite honest. So, I kind of came to my senses on that and just, you know, got what I wanted there. Anyway, um, yeah, Addicted to the Hump. You, um, you, you normally hear many YouTubers say they're addicted to the hunt. Uh, so, am I addicted to the hunt? No. <laughs> um, you know, I like going out um, for nice days out and such, but uh, the game hunting, no. Um, I'm not going to miss it, to be quite honest. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I mean, back when I used to game hunt, I... You know, we had to go to these junk shops. You know, it wasn't um, in a pristine glass cabinet, all complete and shiny and new. You know, we had to literally hunt <laughs> back in the day. And I remember going in this particular junk store. And he goes, oh, yeah, there's some, like, Mars System Mega CD somewhere in those boxes. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I'd pretty much spend half the day trying to hunt for these things that he said he may or may not have. Oh, yeah, somewhere in there. And you're like going for all these rusty tools and things Ugh. and then the mega cd games are at the bottom <laughs> oh um and then like oh i remember that retro gaming store which filled to the brim with stuff and you really did have to hunt the things in there because they just had boxes and boxes and oh my god so much stuff <laughs> um and Nowadays, obviously, you know, we do have places, but like CEX does retro. Um, and then, I mean, we don't have a huge amount of shops in Sussex. Um, we have one proper proper wet retro games store in Brighton, Magic Whistle Gaming, which I always enjoy going in to check out all this stuff. But um, other than that, that's all we have. So... Yeah, we don't have... I mean, I think I'd probably be a little bit more addicted to the hunt, perhaps, if we had a lot more retro gaming stores, maybe. You know, uh, I mean, I might not necessarily buy something, but you know what I mean. Like, I would go out a lot more to retro gaming stores if we had a lot more of them. <laughs> anyway, I'm going off topic. Ah! <laughs> this is about my collection. But anyway, um... Yeah, I'm happy with my collection, and I, I feel like I've got enough. Um, well, 28 years collecting. It's a long time. <laughs> um, yeah, and I feel like I've seen everything, you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, some uh, retro prices are a bit crazy now. Um, my brother did a video. Um, he went to CEX. And there was one thing in there that was just insane price. I mean, it was a Game & Watch um, thing, but um, and they tend to go for a lot of money. But I was just like, oh my god, that is so much. We were just shocked by how much it is. Yeah, um, obviously I, I, I believe you can still get a collection these days on the cheap. But it depends what you collect for. Um, you can still do it, but it, 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 when I see some prices, it makes me go, oh my god, <laughs> um, yeah, um, I got, I got, uh, next part, <laughs> so, yeah, cost of living, rent's gone up, bills have gone up, food, um, and, uh, you know, I've always been, like, really, really careful with money. Um, you know, I I save really hard before I go out on a game hunt. Like, when I go to a day out in Brighton, Magic with Game Gaming, the CEX there. You know, I save up for that. Um, and, yeah, with everything that's going up now, it's... Yeah, you don't actually have a whole lot these days. Um, <laughs> so, um, so I'm going to be more extra careful now because, oh my god. <laughs> There's that. 
Um, I'm saving up for other things other than this. There's many things I'm saving up for. Um, I think I've already... I, I, I probably mentioned about this uh, in another... I sort of touched on the end of my collection on an, another video. I think it was a Resident Evil pickups video. Um, and I touched up on a few of like, the reasons why. But yeah, so yeah, saving up for many things. Um, one of the things is getting this covered up with a new toe because... I do not like this tattoo. <laughs> um, um, it's my first tattoo. It's not as good as this um, one. <laughs> so I'm going to get the artist that done my full sleeve to do a cover up. And in fact, he's covered up quite. Um, I'm trying to think how many tattoos he's covered up for me now. Um, two. Yeah, he's covered up two tattoos for me, which are really old ones. Uh, so yeah, so I'm saving up for that. Um, I'm saving up for a holiday. I haven't been on the holiday since the whole COVID thing. It, 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 it was a little bit before COVID happened. So I haven't been on holiday for years. <laughs> so we would like to go back to the Isle of Wight. Um, also, they have retro gaming stores there. So I could, uh, now I've got a channel, I could, um, you know, it's gone all dark. <laughs> I could... Uh, you know, do an Isle of Isle of White series, couldn't I, with some retro gaming uh, shops? Hopefully, they're still open. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I would love to save for a holiday, and I love Isle of White. And now we got uh, a much better bike. We used to have a, a well, we loved the Suzuki, but it used it it conked out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I'm not going to miss that. It wasn't the most comfortable bike for long travel. Um, but it was very fun. It was the most funnest bike ever, that Suzuki. Um, we now got a Honda, but it's so much more comfortable on long journeys. So can't wait to go to the Isle of Wight again, but on the, the newer bike. Um, and another thing I wanted to save up for is gaming markets. I've not been to any. And I would like, obviously, I don't think I'm going to buy anything. So like I say, my collection is, I'm, I'm, I'm rarely buying retro now. I know I bought a fair bit, um, but I'm, I'm uh, basically fine-tuning my collection. Um, but anyway, we'll get to that part in a minute. But uh, yeah, I just, it'd be cool to just meet many YouTubers and just experience and then a gaming market we don't have anything like that in Sussex um but yeah I I need to save up for that because obviously it will cost money to get there on the motorbike petrol um I'm gonna have to stay so that's gonna cost money because it's a lot of these places are at least three or four hour ride there um and th three or four hour ride back obviously um yeah, so, and if I want to stay a good long while, we'll probably have to stay there. Or somewhere around there, anyway, wherever the mark is. Um, but yeah, we had a good sort out of the collection, if you remember. We got these amazing shelves, which I've been wanting for years. Um, and I was surprised how much I let go. This is when I started to you know, declutter, basically. Um, I mean, I've had a few declutters in my time, but yeah, this was... I mean, it's still on ongoing. Um, yeah, I only want to collect what I enjoy. Um, so, yeah. And... Yeah, we got rid of so many things, um, and I'm still in the process of getting rid of some stuff. Um, which I can't wait. <laughs> um... Yeah, I hope I didn't miss anything, actually. Um, yeah. Uh, and anyway, yeah, let's go. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I play a, a lot more retro games over um, modern uh, stuff. Um, I said uh, wh a while ago um, that I'm not getting more PS4 games. And people are like, 
How? How? Because, like, there is a lot of PS4 games. Thing is, I don't like that many genres, and a lot of the genres that I used to like are just, you know, not around so much these days, or if at all. Um, survival Horror is my favourite, and Arcade Fires. And yes, there is, um, you know, Street Fighter, more combat. But there used to be a lot more fighters, arcade fighters back in the day. Like so many unique arcade fighters, and yeah, we just don't have that anymore. Um, and yeah, there's just there's not that many genres that I like. Um, and like I said, I don't have a huge amount of time to play these modern games. They're a lot longer. They're not as short as the retro. And yeah, I just I feel like I'm not playing the PS4 that much. I play this a lot more, um, so I'm definitely done with the uh, PS4. Um, yeah, you just need a good amount of time, I feel, um, for modern games. So um, I definitely won't, I haven't changed my mind on the PS5. I won't be getting a PS5 because I just feel I literally sit there and collect dust. Also, it's a lot of money for it just sitting there to collect dust. Um, I'd rather just buy games on the odd game that pops up. That because there isn't that many that interest me that these days. Modern games is sad but true. <laughs> um, but if anything, you know, comes up, I'll get it on Steam so we can like uh, do a gameplay video on it anyway. Um, if anything unique or interesting comes along, which isn't that many. <laughs> um, yeah, am I completely done collecting? No, <laughs> not completely done. Um, like, I've only just got on a Switch, um, so I will be collecting for that. Um, but I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna be taking my time with that. Um, the Spectrum that we got for free, that was given to us, which was so nice. Uh, we will be getting a couple more of those. Uh, Game Boy games, we got a little bit of space for that, and and Advance as well. Um, and we got a little bit of space for some Atari. Uh, so yeah, um, and PS One, we got a little bit of space for PS1, um, but I'm not really going to go out my way to hunt things down. Um, if I come across it, then I will, you know, if it's something that I want and with Switch, Spectrum, Game Boy, Advance, Atari, uh, PlayStation 1, then yeah, I, I may, I don't know, you know. Uh, but we're done on like things like Mega Drive and Dreamcast, Sega Saturn, and all that. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, if I um, get anything else retro wise, um, you know, it'd probably be for free. Um, in fact, um, you know, we got a Nintendo Wii for free. Um, that's the only time I'd probably get something. Um, I have been offered, I, I might as well just tell you, but I have been offered a Super Nintendo for free. Um, yeah, they haven't gotten back to me yet, so <laughs> they're trying to find it. <laughs> and they're like, I know it's in the attic somewhere. <laughs> they got a lot of stuff up there, so, um, but that, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I'm literally completely done. Um, so yeah, I mean, there won't be many pickups on my channel anymore. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it, I mean, I got to be done at some point. You know, especially with limited space. You know, I can't keep collecting the collect. You know, um, if I did get a bigger place with a where I can have a separate room for and fill it with games would i get even more uh, would i start collecting even more um no 
Um, I just don't want a large collection. I really don't. Um, you know, I, when I was younger, I, I would look up to look at these YouTubers and be like, oh my god, I so want a massive giant collection. But it makes me feel like, oh, too much stuff, too much stuff. You know, um, even why not? I mean, to me, this is still a large collection. Um, but compared to a lot of YouTubers, this is small. <laughs> but even though I have this, this is more than enough games. Like, this is crazy. This is still crazy amount. This is more than enough entertainment for little old me, you know? <laughs> um, and I just want to, you know, I've pretty much played all of these retro games. Um, but revisiting, you know, haven't, there's some games that I haven't played in a long while. Um, and, you know, because now I'm not hunting and getting games, I can, like, enjoy, you know, and revisit a lot of these games. There are some games that are new in my collection that I haven't gotten around to playing yet. There's a couple of sand games that I haven't played, um, like this one down here. Not played that yet. But I haven't had that long, so I'll get there. <laughs> but because I'm not hunting and buying stuff, um, yeah, I can get there a lot quicker. I even try tried Final Fantasy <laughs> at last. And that's been in my collection for a good number of years. It's really embarrassing. It's been in my collection for a very long time. <laughs> um, but, you know, that, that that's because it's not my cup of tea. I did talk about that anyway. It's not my usual, typical game. But yeah, I think that's everything that I want to say. So m mainly it's, you know, the cost of living. I have to be even more careful. Um, I get a, a pretty decent wage for a, a you know, a house, cleaner housekeeper, whatever. Um, you know, because a lot of cleaners and get really low wages. <laughs> so I got a pretty decent wage as a housekeeper. Um, but even so, I still really have to be careful because things have gone up. <laughs> and like, and the, the other main reason is because I want to save up for other things. And I'm happy with this. And I just don't want too much things i don't want piles of stuff i don't want to be tripping i don't want it to basically you know get out of hand you know i know where everything is i can see it all it's nice it's clean it's tidy i you know that is the main reason um and i you know it's not over um I think, you know, not many people talk about it, but it doesn't mean it's the end. It doesn't mean, like, I don't enjoy retro because I'm not buying lots of retro games or modern games. Um, it just means, you know, I'm going to chill and <laughs> enjoy gaming. And if I do buy anything... Um, yeah, I'm just going to take my time. I mean, uh, like I say, I'm not going to be getting so much retro. Now, if at all. Uh, I'll probably just be getting, like, modern games on Steam so we can play on this channel, like I say. Uh, and um, we'll get the odd retro game, maybe, for those uh, consoles that I said about. Um, and because I haven't had the Switch for long. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, we've got a pickups video um, coming up. <laughs> it's been a while. In fact, it's been like a month since my last gaming pickups video. So we shall do that soon. Um, yeah, I'm just. I haven't got that many bits yet, so I'm just putting them to one side. Um, you know, I've been getting like maybe one Switch game. And then I got two on another payday. Um, I did get a retro game. 
uh, Game Boy game actually, because uh, I got you know Game Boy games don't take up much room. I think that's why. Uh, and and the yeah the Game Boy Advance, Atari Spectrum, you know they don't take up much room, and I got I got a little bit of space for those, <laughs> so I can still collect for that. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to go out of my way to check yeah try and find them um i just came across this game boy game and i don't have it so and yeah i'll show you all that soon um i think that's everything i'm really wanted to say um yeah i've already repeated myself oh dear <laughs> uh, i try not to but sometimes i repeat myself <laughs> ah doing youtube channel mm. yeah not so easy. <laughs> I'm not very good at. Ugh. It's just weird. I keep. I know I've said that on my last video, didn't I? <laughs> oh god, I'm repeating myself. But um, yeah, it is. A, you know, I'm not a professional. Okay, that's why I have notes down here because I just don't know how people can remember their many thoughts and things. And ugh, like, ugh, I'd instantly forget as soon as I turn this on. So yeah, not a professional. Notes down there. But anyway, I hope that was uh, okay. <laughs> I'm not. I feel like it wasn't, but <laughs> oh well, it'll do. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and um, thanks for all all the people that have subscribed and uh, enjoying my channel and all my videos and the gameplay stuff. Thank you. More gameplay videos coming soon, and hopefully I pick up eventually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, like I say, I can't spend huge amounts um, in one go, so I have to be careful. And I'm trying to save. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's everything that I want to say. Um, yeah, thanks for awesome comments. Really, really amazing comments. My last video didn't go to plan. For some reason, I put half a video up and I had to take it down. <laughs> um, and everyone was just super nice. Um, yeah, like I say, I've been having quite a few hard weeks. Um, but yeah, I had a nice relaxing week la last uh, couple of days. Last week on my days off, I had a nice relaxing time. Very much needed rest. Um, and today, another day off. Um, Friday, yay. Um, so... I'm gonna chill today. I don't know what the weather's doing. I might go out for a nice walk. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you. Bye.